you of you uh, work earlier with any other organization something like work experience i mean your work earlier which which company you work Previously, I worked for a career and college consultancy. Ah. Uh, and I'm uh, working then uh, tracking device, home patients. Which device? Tracking device, vehicle tracking device. Okay. How long? Very good. Three years. Three four years you have worked, and then you come. Okay. Anybody else who has experience before you became a name? Ah, yeah. Working a non. I am at Pakistan, Scotland. How? What is? As what? Possibly. How long you work? Thirty months. One year. One year you work. Okay, great, great. Anybody else? Anybody else who have experience, work experience? Yeah, please share. Ah, where do you work? Uh, what did they do? Mechanical contract. What did you do? I was part of a internship kind of. Uh, okay, fine. Yeah. Yes, you. Sir, so, I know work work experience of forty months. Ah, uh, where? So, which company? Which uh, company? Panjack Sales. It's actually a hydraulic company. Oh. Which manufactures uh, scissors, forklifts. What did you do? I was a quality control engineer. Quality control engineer. Okay, very nice. Anybody else? Okay. Uh, so rest of you have come uh, straight from uh, <laughs> straight from school. Okay, good. So I'll tell you at this particular point of time. Even my experience when I did my MBA, I came with some experience, few years of experience. Uh, most of them were fresh years and all this thing. But today. Uh, Just uh, looking back, I don't see a much difference. People who all came as fresh years nowadays, uh, after that, they got in wonderful companies and they really did really well. So nothing to do with that. And uh, experience also matters when you are inside a you know classroom. You are can relate to your experience outside what happened in your. Previous one year or something, whatever, or you spent in a office or whatever, and all this. Being a fresh year, a fresh guy who is just out of college is just have a one advantage is you have fresh mind, still not corrupt, you not seen office politics, you not seen uh, you know difficult work life or situation or whatever. So you are always always fresh. So absorbing all the knowledge, whatever you require, and all the thing you will be able to do. <laughs> so the both is a both has its own advantages and disadvantages. And I don't think uh, one is one has a more advantage or other. But having experience, work experience is a good thing that you will be able to see, look at it in a different perspective because you understand real world situation or whatever. Right? So coming back to our topic, I was just asking you a very important question. I think most of you have not answered it much properly. What was that? What do you think about? Yes, so, what do you think about yourself today? See, I'll tell you. There, there is an important uh, subject which you are going to talk. You are really going to learn in your MBA. Something called brand management. I am a brand management faculty for a few of the business schools here. Uh, one one business school I used to go as a brand faculty, brand management faculty. For last two years, I have been taking this subject. It's a marketing subject, you know. It's a marketing. You market. How do you market a product or a brand, you know, a company or whatever, right? So this is a brand. Brand. Now, this particular question has a whole lot to answer about your brand. You are a brand, right? As a person, you are also a brand, right? So how do you? How are you going to build your brand? So called that. What's your name? Hmm. Huh? Yeah, Umesh. Now, Umesh has a brand. Do you have any tagline for you? <coughs> any tagline for you? You want to say what? This is what Umesh is all about. I, I, I would say you have to have. You have to have one. You understand? Know, so, what do you think about yourself is more important than what other people are talking thinking about. Now, only when you can you think about yourself. Uh, You know, high, or uh, you think about good about yourself. Only then you will be able to project that particular image to others, right? That's what normally happens. Right? 
Yeah, yeah. So any any uh, no no any any jokes you can please share it with me. Huh? Our phone is ringing, not able to stop. Okay. Okay. So it is very important, right? Uh, how you, what you are going to think about yourself is very important. Then what others are going to think about you? What others can think anything about you? Others can think anything about it. See, this world is about that. All these leaders, if you see political leaders, they don't. You see all these politicians now think they don't mind what you are going to talk about back. You, know, you, can, you can talk anything about them, but still they keep going on, right? So they keep going on. See, big, big guy, you know. You see, Jayalalita, Karnanidhi, all those political leaders. Have you seen them any time they are actually feeling bad that uh, so many of them are talking bad about them and all the same? No. They don't. Because why? For them it is more important that what they think about themselves is more important than what others are thinking. So, so many of them will think about anything about it. What, what you think about is more important. That is very important. And then, next thing which I am going to talk about is, uh, you know, Abdul Kalam used to say, what did he used to say? Dream. Huh? Dream. Ah, yeah, dream. What, what, how many of you dream? How many of you? Please raise your hands. I want to see the hands. Dream please, big. please. Dream big. I know everybody is big. I know. That too, particularly in the classroom, we all of us dream. All of us dream. And we have the only thing what we have been doing from LKG onwards is that one thing, which we have all done PhDs, took double PhDs actually, but yet they have actually not given the PhD. We have not recognized our great talent which we have built from our kindergarten that we have actually done uh, double PhDs, triple PhDs in that one particular topic, how to dream. Actually to be frank, I have done 10 PhDs in that subject. The moment I reached my 12th standard, I know I, I know I would have done so many PhDs on that but still people have not recognized what to do, right? So. Dreaming is very, very important, correct? But there are few of them who dream too big. How big? Too big. What kind of dream? I will become like Guru Bhambani. I will have ten businesses. I will go in a car. What car? Not ordinary car. Because every day, today everybody has a car, right? But I will have not Mercedes Benz, not Audi. I will have Rolls Royce. I will have Jaguar. The biggest Jaguar that I can get. That too, that you know, I will customize it, even make half of it as gold actually. Okay. So, I will go in a helicopter. No, not I will go in a helicopter. I will actually buy a helicopter. Oh, when I come out of my house, there will be a helicopter. Yard will be there, where the helicopter will be there. I will even buy a big Boeing plane also. Like that, you know, you, you can dream anything you want, right? You dream and all things, it's actually good to dream. I okay, will tell you, please dream big. Like Abdul Kalam has said, too much of dreams. What exactly? It is good to dream actually. That is not actually dreaming. What? That is not actually dreaming. That is bullshitting yourself. That is bullshitting. You are bullshitting yourself, no? What? Are you are you going to have that kind of a thing and all those things? For tomorrow you wake up early morning, you are going to wake up in the same, same bedroom, you are going to come out and in the same house you are going to be. They are not going to change just overnight. But then you can dream, no doubt, please dream. But not this kind of dream. This is actually bullshitting. Bullshitting yourself. So, what Abdul Kalam was saying is a different dream. What Abdul Kalam mentioned was a different dream, not this dream. I, even I used to dream. That's a good, beautiful dream. That too, particularly that particular age, your age. 
you can actually dream that and before that announcing when i was school i used to dream like you know what kind of dream you know i uh, suddenly you turn into a superman <coughs> you will have that one you know hanging around in your neck and then i'll fly high in the sky you know like a superman and reach top and then come back so i want that kind of powers i always think if if i if god gives me all those powers what can i do that's a dream actually you will go here and there people will respect you yeah right so what exactly dream is dream is not this is not dream what is dream actually so it is realistic dream you know what dream is what kind of dream you need you need realistic how do you realistic yeah so you can't dream like that so most important quality for you is uh, are you realistic Are you realistic? Grounded. You know what do you mean by grounded? What do you mean by grounded? Sitting on the ground. What do you mean by grounded? Should should think practical. What is practical? Pragmatic. What do you mean by pragmatic? You have to be practical. Right? Do you want to be theoretical or practical? How many of you want to become theoretical? Raise your hand. Theoretical. Not even a single person. Theoretical. Do you want to be theoretical? Who want to become practical? Please raise your hands. All of you. That's why you are an idiom. That's why you are an idiom. No, you don't want to be theory. You don't want theory. How many of you say, sir? Tomorrow onwards, please don't teach me theory. <coughs> How many of you? Sir, no theory, no. Speak practical only. I want only practical only. Correct. So, practical is very important. Are you practical? See, you. Somebody wants to actually learn swimming. This fellow, he went and bought a book, how to swim. bought a book how to swim and then he went and read a uh, read from the cover to cover the huh? cover to cover he read it, how to swim on all the sea and then what he did is he stood at outside the swimming pool and he was practicing this is what this is how you want to learn this is how you want to learn how you want to learn If you want to learn, if you want to learn, what do you have to do? Jump into the swimming pool. If you don't jump into the swimming pool, how will you learn? Right? So that's why you are all of you are jumped into M M B A, P G D M. All of you have jumped into swimming P G D M. Then after P G D M, you have to jump into the real world. So you prepare yourself right now to face the real world situation. So when you jump there. i can tell you right now what you are doing is you are going to play, you are going to read cover to cover practice like this only outside the swimming pool and when you get to the swimming pool it is not going to be the same uh, person who is already worked with you know correct am i right am i right 100% correct so what i want is i want you to be that's very important and then you know if you really have to differentiate yourself it is very important that whatever the transaction you are going to do from now on you have to really be ethical it is so easy to tell that word no ethical huh but when you go to the real world do you think it is going to be so easy huh going to be so easy no somebody is what going to do somebody is going to actually, actually going to take away your money somebody is going to take away your money somebody is going to take away your your time somebody is going to take away your time somebody is going to take away your energy there are three things others are actually going to steal from you what are they going to steal all of them are thieves only you understand one thing all of them are thieves thieves spelling t h e e i v e s proudly proudly 
what is synonym of teeth? Synonym. Anybody? Tell me different synonym of teeth. The quieter. Ah, then. Robber. Huh? Bandit. Bandit. Ah, then. Now tell me what is the antonyms of thief? Police. Antonyms, huh? Police. Ah, then after that. Army. Army. Ah, then. PSI. Then. PSI. Ah, then what else? Thieves. I am opposite of thieves, boss. What is opposite of thieves? Opposite of thieves is good person, no? What is that person? Huh? Huh? Ethical. Ethical. Huh? Honest. Honest. Ah, honest. Then what? <laughs> honest thieves. He is saying. Sir, there is another one, sir. Honest thieves, sir. He is saying something else. Honest thieves. He is actually thieves only. Thief only. But he is actually honest thief. And two, he is ethical thief. I will tell you in a corporate, most of them are would be ethical, ethical thieves only. I will say very ethical and thief. But ordinarily you are going to steal away your time. Most important, they have time only. So I will steal away your time, I will steal away energy, steal away. I want to make sure that there is somebody who has actually wrongly interpreted uh, or smartly interpreted what is management. You know what is the definition of management? That's what people will say always. Art of getting done, done through other. What do you mean? Art of getting <laughs> getting things are through others. Other. So what exactly this? He will somewhere or other, he will take advantage of this fellow, exploit this fellow, make sure that I get all the work from him, and then what will say? Thank you, boss. Bye bye. That's what management. What is it? That's what? Management. Don't pay him salary. Don't pay him. Uh, is this is management. Huh? But there are so many of them who are waiting to make a, somewhere or other take advantage like that. If you somewhere or other is just you are anybody understood? Some of them are not understood. There are some of them are not understood. Who are coming from outside Chennai? Please raise your hand. Very good. Very good. Only of, what all what all the states? Please could you tell me? Uh, so Maharashtra, West Bengal. West Bengal, both of you West Bengal, good. Uh, West Bengal, okay, both of you. Anybody else? Assam, Assam. okay. Who is with Andhra Pradesh? Andhra Pradesh. Then what else? Chennai. Where are you? you? Chennai. Huh? Jamshedpur. Okay. Jamshedpur. Yes. Tata. We are who is the beer guy? Right fellow. Can you can I can I know your English please? Could any stand up? We are uh, can you introduce yourself? Yes, uh, introduce, introduce yourself. My <laughs> son <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> good, 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 good. Hey, come on, come on, don't, don't laugh at him. Yeah, yeah, you did it, sir. Sandeep Smart. Huh? Sandeep Smart. Ah. From Bihar. Hmm. Bihar Patna. Ah, then you talk about yourself. I did my uh, become uh, from Patna University. Uh, accounts honors. Good, good, good. So you are from Patna? Patna, yes. Okay, okay. please. Uh, please don't laugh at him. No? All there is have some accent. Okay, they have their accent. Doesn't mean, he go to uh, corporate, he is going to do well. Correct. Right. So I was just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. All these uh, West Bengal guys. What's famous in West Bengal? Ah, uh, you have not brought anything. Food is famous. Rasamukulla, that's what I'm telling. Yeah, yeah. So what? Where did we left actually? Food is, you know, in Tamil Nadu, food is special. You are telling me that in West Bengal, food is special. Have you, have you had full meal Tamil Nadu food? <laughs> you are yet, you are not done. When have you, when did you came to Tamil Nadu? 
one man back. You tomorrow and today night you go have full meals. What? Full meals. You are you have to go sit in the theatre. Uh, sorry, this restaurant and then go ask the friend full meals Tamil Nadu. They will give you. You try. It. Believe me. <laughs> so there are there are so many of the thieves are there who are waiting to actually steal what steal your time energy now the entire subject of branding you know how it came those days how marketers were thinking no marketers were not exactly thinking at that like how to steal some amount of money from your wallet how to steal some money from your wallet and so they are thinking Hey, all these fellows are having money, man. Somewhere they will catch, get that one. How to do it? He will say something and ask, sell something and get the money. Oh, God. Oh, good, good. That's how transactions were made. See, this world is, you, this business world, you take anything for that matter. Like, everything is transaction. You understand? Everything is transaction. You give something and you receive something. So, entire business, see, we were talking about Business management, business administration. What is business? Business is nothing but you are selling something and you are you are gaining gaining something. You are earning something. So it is nothing but a transaction. It is not one way transaction. It's a two way transaction. So I give something and then I, I, I you give something and then you receive something. The other person also receives something and he also gives. Yes, yeah, she also gives something. So it is a transaction which is happening. That's what business is all about. It's not about business analytics. It's not about uh, statistics. It's not about uh, you know algorithm. It is not about programming. It is not about all this uh, jargons you study. It is not about accounting. It is not about all those things. It is about what? It's about transaction between two indi individual or two organizations, whatever. If it happens within two individuals, it becomes B to C. If it becomes between two organizations, it becomes B to B, business to business. Transaction. It is nothing but a transaction. So two people exchanging something in between. That's what business is all about. In that, if I take more and then give you less, what will happen? Or if I receive less and then give you more, what will happen? Then there comes something called ethics. So we become fraud, a fraud company. Hey, that fellow, fraud fellow. Ella kasi mangi tu, thalai le kati tam. Sorry guys. So, yeah, yeah, used to it. So that fellow took all the money and gave me only this useless stuff, right? So what exactly happened? You actually gave so much of money, huh? you got cheated. You say, hello, don't go to his shop. Right? So you need quality. That's why, why guys go and buy buy shirts, trousers and uh, you know, all those things. You go, what do you buy? Some of you buy, some of you go and find a brand. What brand? What, what are the brands you use? Please tell me. What are the brands you use? Shopping, how many of you went shopping recently? Hmm? One month back. Yeah, what, what did you bought? Peter England. Yeah, Peter England. And what else? Nike, Adidas, Levi's, Todiak. How many of you have Levi's jeans? How many of you have? How many of you have Lee jeans? How many of you have unbranded jeans? No, there is no brand and all thing. I have some stupid uh, jeans. Yeah, well, how is it? Yeah, Good only. Nice. But but would you buy that or would you buy Lou Levi or something? Both. Both. But but then you 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 go to Levi. Why people go to Levi? What do you mean by brand? Name. Name. Who said name? Now, how many of you drink a Kalimar, uh, Kalimar Cola? Kalimar, huh? 
Good. How many of you drink Coca Cola? Coke, Coke. How many of you drink the Pepsi? Pepsi, Pepsi. Pepsi, you don't drink all these guys? Maja? Maja, many of them are there. Huh? Thumbs up. Sprite. Okay, lots of Sprite. Isn't it? So, I will tell you why you are drinking that particular thing. Why? Taste or something? But then there is a trust, right? How many of you trust Sprite? Sprite. Trust. 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 How many? Trust that thing. Trust that thing. See, there is somebody who is doing some, uh, you know, on the roadside. Okay. You know, cane, that sugar cane shop fellow who is doing like that, no? Do you trust that fellow that he is hygienic? Huh? But do you do you trust Linka? Huh? He is put a bottle in it. How do you know how Linka is made? You have, did you went and saw it? Huh? No, how many you know it is Elipcha Pala juice. Limka is what? Limka is Elipcha Pala juice. You know what is Elipcha Pala juice? What do you mean? Lemon juice. Yeah. That, see, see it's Elipcha. It's, it's actually what? Good Tamil. You learn Tamil today. Good. 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 Very good. You go outside and tell that to guys. Good. Good. He, 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 he caught one Tamil word today. Hello. So that is actually what? That's actually lemon juice, right? Limka is lemon juice, but. How many of you trust an ordinary lemon juice and limka? Because you you trust limka, right? Why? There is a trust factor. There is a trust factor. How did the trust came? How did branding came? How did branding came? All those things, let it be advertised. Karina Kapoor. That only you said is associated with Karina Kapoor. Correct? Somewhere there. So, what about you as a brand? What about you as a brand? What is that people are going to? Are you going to buy you? Are you going to buy? Some people are going to buy you? Are people are going to buy you or sell you? Huh? Yeah, so today, tomorrow, and uh, what is your name? Huh? Shanak. Shanak is going to finish his MBA, okay? I, I, as, a, as a manager, I want to buy Shanak. It's a brand. Why? Who is Shanak? Shanak is, is a brand. Shanak is a brand, no? Please don't ask, sir. That is MBA. ITM Chennai. So, ITM Chennai becomes a brand, no? So, Shanak, why did he choose ITM? I'm just asking. Why did he brand, choose? Sir. Huh? Brand, sir. brand. So, that's it. So, there is an association with uh, Shanak and I, I, ITM Chennai. Right? So, why? Because Shanak wanted to associate himself to that one particular brand. So, Shanak says, I am an ITM, ITM product. Is he, is he an ITM product now? Who is to be an ITM product? Now, what do you say outside when he goes outside for job job interview? Yeah, yeah, please. Job interview, you are going to say, I am an ITM product. When you say, if you are not an ITM product, let's say he is going to be, let's get, let us give you an opportunity to go and study in arts college. Arts college? Arts college, you already studied that. Engineer, sir. You are an engineer. Okay, let's cancel your engineering degree from today on. Four years. Four years, sir. Okay. I cancel your engineering. I'll put you in arts college. Now, what will you say? So, so as a, as a Shanak's brand is not arts, no? As a Shanak, Shanak means Shanak is not an arts and science guy. Shanak has its own uniqueness. What is the uniqueness? Shanak is an engineer. Number one is an engineer. Studied in which college? Techno. Uh, techno. Now he is an ITM because why? 
Well, he chose to be a, chose to, chose to study MBA. Now, he, what exactly he has done? He has built his brand. All right? He has built his brand, correct? How many of you say, yes, he has built a brand? <laughs> so, it is a process of, you are in the process of building your own brand. That is more important. As I told you, in this world, the transaction world, there will be lots of, you know, people who are actually trying to take away, take away your wallet, take away your time and all those things. But beyond that, you have to have your own set of values where you have to honor certain things. That is going to help you down the line. Correct? Because after finishing your degree, I am very sure most of you have my, my thing, wherever, whoever gives you money, you are going to work for. How many of you agree? Whoever is going to give you give money, you are going to work for. Are you going to work for money? Are you going to work for money or are you going to work for somebody, something else? What is that? Why are you going to work? Work for money or not what work for money? How many of you are not going to work for money? Anybody there? How many of you say work for money? How many of you? Raise, raise hands. So all the hands. Good. Somebody gives you 30,000 rupees salary. Another guy gives you 60,000 rupees salary. Another fellow gives you 1 lakh rupees salary. Let's say. Three people. Okay. Company A, Company B, Company C. I want to ask you, which one will you take? Who says, depend on the work, who says, I will chase only C. How many of you are going to choose C? One lakh salary. No, no, see, you understand, see, 30,000 30, A, B is 60,000, C is one lakh. Now, I want to, how many of you chosen C? One lakh. Raise, raise your hands. Raise. How many are you going to choose B? If C is not there, How many are you choose A? None of you. None of you have chosen A. I just want to ask you why you chosen B. Please tell me. It's a safe side. It's a safe side. Huh? Pragmatic. Correct? You don't want one like. You don't want one like. Seriously? Why? Answer, answer me. Are you getting now one lakh? Give forty thousand to me. We get one lakh. Twenty twenty. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, Okay, so uh, let us say he has got a job. So let us say he got a job. Well, let us give him offer him one lakh rupee. What is it? That, uh, what is his gentleman name? Huh? Omesh. Omesh. I am asking only Omesh only. Okay, Omesh will give him one lakh. What is it? Okay. Let us let us give one lakh, no? Okay. okay, let us give one lakh for Omesh or everybody. All of you are given. Okay. I have okay. okay. given you one lakh for everybody, right? We all together are going to work from tomorrow. Tomorrow onwards, you are going to work. Now, what exactly I am going to do is, I am going to put you into teams. Put you into teams. So, four people in one team. Four people in one team. Right? Now, in this four team, four people, right? Person who underperforms, Person who, please listen, no, so don't play with our hair and all this. <laughs> person, person who underperforms huh, will be sent in another three months. Person who underperforms will be that four people, the person who underperforms. What do you mean by underperforming? 
Yeah, you know TCS uh, last year sent uh, how many of them? 25,000 people, huh? 25,000 people they sent for what? Underperformance. You see that in news and all this thing? Have you seen that? Are you, are you all updated? Many of you are not, huh? All of them, uh, when they hired, what, what kind of profile were they? Huh? All of them were engineers. Most, all of them have scored more than 90 percent. In the 10th standard, 12th standard, all those things. They have cleared the aptitude test. All of them are smart, right? But then why did they send 25,000 people? Because of what? Underperform. Right? You understand the word called under performer. Now what we are going to do is there are three, four people are there in the team. The person who is going to underperform, who is going to the person who is underperform? The fourth person. Who is the person? The fourth person, the person who is not performed well, that person will be sent out of the company. Sent out of the company. Next year, when, when are we going to send him out? Another three months. So, end of the three months, there will be one guy who is going to be fired. Right. Let us say, how? One lakh, how much is your salary? One lakh. One lakh. How? Let me just ask you, how you are going to work? How you are going to work? Answer my question. Hard work? I you to say hard work. Any other answer? Hard work then? Huh? Huh? Better than the other guy. Very good. That's the question. Smart work. Uh, this fellow says smart work. Better than the other guy. You have to work or better than the... Uh, but at the same time, I also put another policy, the company. If you are not working cooperatively within your team members, you will be removed. What, what? Do you get it? What did I say? Can you, can you, can you repeat it? Ah, if you are not going to cooperate within the other team member, you will be? Remote. Remote. Now, when you compete with the other people, you might become non-cooperative. But if you don't know, you are not cooperating, you will be? You will be? Now, how will you work? How will you work? Team work, good. How are you going to do the team work? But at the same time, you do a fantastic job, you work really well, and make sure that everybody is able to perform, but then end of the day you underperform. What will I do? I will? I will reward. You understand? What is it? Dharma Sangadamana? Dharma Sangadamana? Surnilai. What do you mean by Dharma Sangadam? Dharma Sankat. Dharma Sankat. Yeah. So, this is a typical catch 22 situation in what? All the workplace. So, this is a situation. This is a typical situation in any workplace. You go work for any work, any organization, any company, you will have this situation. You have to, somewhere or the other, you have to perform, you have to make sure that you, you do business, whatever you are you're supposed to do in the work, in your role and also you have to perform and also at the same time you should be able to gel along with others. Gel along with others as a team you should be able to perform. If you don't do that, I am telling you a realistic situation. It is very difficult to survive in this today's modern workplace. Today modern workplace demands a lot and most important is this and when you work for a, work in a team, it is very important no matter how much uh, you know productive you think and all those things. What I believe is if you work in a team, it is very very important that you have a kind of set of code of honor within the team. You should have a set of values you have to have in that particular team. As a team, you should have. 
So it is a, your uh, leadership quality that will make you who you are internally, inside. What do you mean by a leader? Who changes the situation? Who changes the situation? What else? Who is a leader? Huh? Leads from the front. Yeah, please tell me. Uh, any other answer? Takes responsibilities. Any other answer? Take care of the Huh? Ah, then. Take care of the other. Yeah, then. Now, oh, as a leader, you take advantage. You lead from the front. You say, I am the leader. Okay. And all those things you lead that fellow. Huh? You tell that fellow to even blindfold. Blindfold your eyes, I am the leader, I will take you. What do you say? Just trust me. Just trust me. Don't need to worry, I am the leader, I will take care of you. How many of you believe? I will take care of you. I will tell him to close his eyes. And then I will take him. You know the pipe to piper? How many of you know pipe to piper? What? Uh, uh, what what pipe paper did? He took all the rats and then what he did? He was singing and all the rats went and landed where? In the water. Like that, if I am a leader, I can tell you, close your eyes, I will take you. And then I will probably lead you to a big probably pro trouble or whatever. So I can even lead you to trouble. As a leader, I can lead you to trouble. In your business, you have to you have study business, you have you can see that so many businesses have failed. What uh, like for example your Satyam scam. How many of you have heard about Satyam scam? Satyam Ramalinga Raju. You know Ramalinga Raju, what did Ramalinga Raju do? He took away seven thousand crores from the company. The company uh, great trouble. There are so many case, uh, uh, cases where companies are closed off because of the leader's mismanagement. The leader is not somebody who actually leads in the front. I'll tell you what leader is. Leader is not somebody who is leading in the front and also. Leader is not taking advantage. Leader is not somebody who stupid says that I know everything. Unfortunately, in our country, we have so many of them. No. Leader is somebody. Is somebody who leads from the back. Somebody who leads from the back is a person who lets every others to go in the front. Somebody who lets other people to take the lead. And then is a person who is there with them throughout the journey. That's what a true leader is. Right? So I want you to be like a kind of person. Not somebody who just take advantage. Right? Just say, I know everything. I lead you. And then when the trouble comes, you know, what exactly you will do? You will design your job and go to another company. And then you see that suddenly you say, the regional manager has quit. What exactly happened? The regional manager has quit. That is a typical situation in most of the things. So never ever you do that thing. Do your set of it. So it's it's you have to lead from the back. Okay, let people to go forward rather than you actually leading. So let people actually do whatever they are supposed to do. So what are what is their strengths? You you have to recognize. So when I told you that situation, somebody is going to be, within three months, you are underperformer, you will be sent out. And if you are a leader, you made other people <coughs> perform. And you are become un underperformer. You, you are actually, you know, suppose you are uh, perceived as underperformer. What will you do? As a leader, as a person who has a leadership quality, you should be a person who should be able to take it. 
and then say yes. If that is the case, I will the I am the person I will I am the person who will leave. This is the true leader. Understand? Who is the true true leader? It is very difficult to have that kind of politics. So uh, last at last I would say uh, the only one thing I will just want to finish this thing. As I started, when I started, I started with only one thing. What did I started with? Life is difficult. Life is But if you know life is difficult, then it becomes easy. Who said it? Scott Pitt. Is that right? Scott Pitt said it. It's not Bharat Surajman who said it. Right? So life is difficult, but if you know that life is difficult, then life becomes easy. And the only way to solve this problem is to be disciplined in whatever we are supposed to do. Take total responsibility. Right? And then, as I told you, there is always problem. And for us to confront those problems, not run away from the problems. Every successful company, every successful product, every successful individual has to go through a curve. It's called valley of death. So, it starts from this and it goes down, down to a valley and then only slowly goes up. Every company, every product, everything you see that's what it is. Even our stock market is like that. So the somebody has to see the valley of death before a successful company emerges. So I will tell you there will be problems, there will be setbacks, there will be disappointments, all these things. But how you take it and then go to the thing, that's what matters. So if you have to transform them, that's how we are transformed. Right? So with this, I will just end this session. And I uh, hope uh, guys really enjoyed it. And thanks very much. Thank you very much for being so cooperative, all of you guys. And then... Uh, sorry. So, uh, I want to thank uh, the ITM uh, management for giving me an opportunity to come down and uh, you know have uh, meet you guys, call Yang to the you know PGC of Buddha and interact with you on all those things. So, thank you very much and uh, hope probably I will meet you again sometime, probably later or something. So, thanks, thanks uh, ITM. And thanks uh, the management for giving me an opportunity to come and have a wonderful interactive uh, session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.